Hey guys, Christopher Fast RC, and today we're just going to do a quick video on pinions. I just want to talk about the subject of A scale pinions and why you get your money's worth on them. So, this is a more affordable pinion. This is a much more racing pinion. I got it for about six bucks on A main, and I didn't see anything on the actual listing page about this thing being rated for steel spur use or not. But I've used it for one race day with a steel spur on a uh, XT8 Truggy. And you can see right there, it's clearly wearing fast. So the metal is not rated for a scale use, in my opinion. I mean, if you ran this on an e-buggy with a composite spur like this RC8, it'd be just fine. It would last, you know, like anything else should. I just wanted to tell you though, look out when you're buying pinions, don't cheap out. You wanna be in that 10 to $15 range for a good pinion gear. And to seriously avoid like the six packs of pinions you see on Amazon. Like I think these are like Hobby Park or one of those brands. You know, it's kind of a weird shape to the pinion. Uh, they're using non-standard size hexes. Like I think this is a, a one and a half maybe. Hex is definitely an M3. Uh, pin, or a M3. No, it's, a, it's gonna be a two millimeter hex with a M3 grub screw. A scale, you don't want it. Uh, this one is using a four millimeter grub screw, but you can see it's definitely a molded piece. It's not machined well, and it's not gonna last a long time, especially on a steel spur. So avoid the multi-packs you see on Amazon. Go with something like a Mugen pinion, which this is a Mugen pinion. This is a 16 tooth, it's 16, it's a six. That's a Mugen. So they label their stuff above 15. You see right there. Nice wide tooth, and uh, as far as the wear goes, none really to speak of. It's a little shiny, but that's just a black coating wearing off. Here's another one. This one has this is what I had in my e truggy with the steel spur for three race days versus the one on the much more. You can see a tiny bit of wear, but guys, this is three race days versus one on that cheaper pinion. The Mugen pinions run about 10 15 bucks. Here's another good brand. This is Robinson Racing. Uh, they're machined, high quality pinions, hardened. This is a 17 tooth, and these run about the same 10, 15 bucks. But this one actually has a, a narrower fake tooth face. So uh, I like the Mugen pinions, especially on a scale e buggy where you have a composite spur and you want a nice wide face on your pinion versus like the Robinson Racing style it, where it's a smaller face. But I mean, it still works great, guys. Um, Another thing to avoid, in my opinion, I know Associated's got some aluminum pinions and like they're out there, but for Ace Gear guys, it's it's not saving you that much weight. The motor's got plenty of torque already. It doesn't need that extra boost. Save that for tent scale. Here's a Mod 8 Castle pinion. And you can see this is after use on a composite Traxxas spur. This thing's just munched, guys. See the teeth on it? I mean, it's destroyed. So. Stay away from aluminum. I mean, unless you really want to shave the pounds, but it's not worth it in my opinion. Go with a high quality pinion. Associated makes good steel pinions. Traxxas makes good pinions. Mugen, ProTech, um, they're out there. So yeah, just quick video all about pinion gears. All right, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.